Hello students, welcome to my online classes. Today we will see finding solution of a quadratic equation by completing the square method. Here we use simple and easy method to finding out the roots of the quadratic equation. Just two steps involved in this process. So these are the question. First two question I have solved. Next two question is for your practice. Do practice and find out the solution. We will see the questions now. Completing the square method, we take a simple quadratic equation x square plus 6x plus 5 equals 0. The first step is finding out the coefficient a, b, and c. So, a value is coefficient of x square, b value is coefficient of x, then c is 5. Now, the first step is finding out the value for a that is 4 times the value of a is 1 that is 4 now I'll multiply this 4 throughout the equation multiply equation by 4 4 into x square plus 6x plus 5 equals 0 now multiply 4 into x square 4 x square 4 into 6 x that is 24 x 4 5 is a 20 equals 0 now shift this plus 20 to RHS what you get 4x square plus 24x equals plus 20 after shifting it becomes minus 20. Now the second step is find out the value of b square. b square is 6 square which is equal to 36. Now add 36 on both LHS and RHS. Now 4x square plus 24x plus 36 equals minus 20 plus 36 now if you observe it is of the form a square plus b square and plus 2ab a square plus 2b square plus 2ab now I'll write 4x square as 2x whole square then 36 as 6 square now 2ab is 2 into a value is 2x into b value is 6 which is equal to minus 20 plus 36 is 16 plus 16. Now a square plus 2ab plus b square can be written as a plus b whole square. Now what I will do I will write 2x plus b is 6 the whole square equals 16. Now I will remove the square and put square root on the RHS it becomes plus or minus root 16 so root 16 is 4 so we will get plus or minus 4 now 2x equals plus or minus 4 shift this plus 6 to RHS will get minus 6 now 2x equals I will take plus value that is plus 4 minus 6 or 2x equals minus 4 minus 6 which is equal to plus 4 minus 6 is minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10 therefore therefore 2x equals minus 2 or 2x equals minus 10 so x equals minus 2 by 2 or x equals minus 10 by 2. So x equals 2 ones are 2 ones are will get minus 1 or 2 times 5 is minus 10. 2 times minus 5 is minus 10 x equals minus 5 or x equals minus 1. These are the roots of the quadratic equation by completing the square method. First step is find out the value of 4a then multiply the equation second question 2x square plus 7x plus 6 equals 0 the first step is finding out coefficients a b and c so here a equals 2 b equals 7 and c equals 6 now here we need to find out the value of 4a that is 4 times the value of a is 2 
that is 4 times 2 is 8. Now I should multiply the quadratic equation by 8. Multiply throughout the equation by 8 that is 8 into 2x square plus 7x plus 6 equals 0. Now 8 into 2 that is 16x square 8 7 is a 56x plus 8 6 is a 48 equals 0. Now shift 48 to RHS what you get is minus 48. Now 16x square plus 56x equals minus 48. Now find out the value b square. Now b square equals that is 7 square equals 7 7 is a 49. Now add 49 on LHS and RHS of the equation. What you get 16x square plus 56x plus 49 equals minus 48 plus 49. Now this is of the form a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now 16x square can be written as 4x whole square. 49 can be written as 7 whole square plus 2ab is 2 into 4x into 7. So 48 minus 48 plus 49 will give you 1. 49 minus 48 is 1. Now this is of the form a plus b whole square. I can write as 4x plus 7 whole square equals 1. Now remove square and put square root on the RHS. So 4x plus 7 equals plus or minus square root of 1. So square root of 1 is 1. So what you get is plus or minus 1. Therefore 4x plus 7 equals plus 1 or 4x plus 7 equals minus 1. 4x equals plus 7 after shifting it becomes minus 7 that is 1 minus 7 or 4x equals minus 1 minus 7. 4x equals 1 minus 7 is minus 6 or 4x equals minus 1 minus 7 is minus 8. Now, x equals minus 6 divided by 4 or x equals minus 8 divided by 4. So, what you get? 2, 2 is a 2, 3 is a what you get? Minus 3 by 2 or x equals 4 on the 4, 2 is a minus 2. So, the roots are minus 3 by 2 and minus 2. These are the two roots of the quadratic equation. So, this is the simplest way of finding out roots by completing the square method. So, thank you for watching. For third practice question, since the b coefficient is minus, you have to use a minus b whole square. The fourth question, you have to use a plus b whole square. Do practice and find out the solution.